Hello everyone, hope you are doing good. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use Qualtrics. Qualtrics is one of the best online survey tools and it is perfect for businesses of all sizes. Whether you're looking to create a survey to collect customer feedback or you're planning to do a product launch and you want a tool to do some research, this is definitely the platform for you. And in this tutorial, I'll be giving you a beginner friendly walkthrough of how to use Qualtrics. The first thing you want to do is go on to Qualtrics.com. Once on Qualtrics.com, you're going to go over to the top right hand corner and you're going to tap on free account. By tapping on free account, you'll be able to enter your email address and create an account. With this free account, you will get access to their free online survey tools and you will also get access to over 50 survey templates or you can choose to create a survey from scratch. You don't need a credit card or anything like that to sign up. And what I like about Qualtrics also, it is not a free trial period but overall you'll be creating a free account that will always be available. And you'll get access to, as I said earlier, 50 different survey templates. So once you're signed up, you will be redirected to a dashboard similar to this. All you'll need to do is tap on Create Project in the top right hand corner. Once you have tapped on Create Project, you will be redirected to this page. On this page, you have quite a few options. You can choose one of their templates so you can scroll down and you can select a category or you can choose to create a survey from scratch. So you can scroll down and you can select any one of these categories. For this tutorial, I'll be creating one from scratch. So all I would need to do is go to the top, tap on survey. Then after doing that, I'm going to tap on get started. Once you have tapped on get started, you can name your survey right there. So I'll name it Simple Answers. Then you can tap right where you see Create Blank Survey Project. And then you'll select that right there. And you're going to tap on Create Project. After you have tapped on Create Project, you will be redirected to the editor page. On the editor page, you'll now be able to create your first survey. So you can see this is how it looks right here. And you can kick things off by adding your first question. So this is question one. If you would like to change the question type from multiple choice, you can do that by going over to the top left hand corner, tapping right where you see question type. And if you would like to change it to something else, for example, text entry, you can do that. You can scroll down and you have numerous options, but I will leave it as multiple choice then I'm going to simply tap on the section right where you see click to write question. I'm going to tap right there. And then from there, you can write a sample question. So for example, how heavy is the cloud? And then from there, you can write a sample answers. So for example, one pound, two pounds, three pounds right here you can see them right there if you would like to add something more you can do that and you can also tap on the three dots right here so if you would like to move the question copy the question add a page break you can do that or if you would like to add a small note you can also do that then to add another question you'll tap on add new question in the bottom right hand corner and again, from there, you can select multiple choice. If we were to select text entry for this one right here. Now with this one, you will tap here once more. And from there, you could type in your question. Then you will leave the box right here for persons to fill in the box. And by going over to the left hand menu option, you can see single line. So if you like to add multiple lines, you can do that by tapping right there. If you want an essay text box, you can simply tap on essay text box. And if you want the responses to be required, meaning that persons have to answer these questions, all you have to do is simply toggle on, 
add requirements. And from there, you will see force response and you will see an asterisk beside it. So that means that persons will have to fill in this question once they're doing the survey. And you can also tap right where you see add block. By tapping on add block, you can see right here, a different section has been added right here. And you can also tap on add new question to add more questions right there. And by going over to the left hand menu option, we're going to tap on the second icon, which is the survey flow. And you can see right there, you can see the two questions. If you would like to add a new element, you can tap on add new element there. And by tapping on add new element, if you would like to add an authenticator, you can do that. If you would like to add a block, you can do that. Or if you would like to add a web service, you can also do that. If you would like to change the design or so on, you can do that also by tapping on the third icon. And with the third icon, you'll be able to choose the theme and layout. So you can see the different themes right here. By scrolling down, you'll see dynamic themes. And with each one that I tap on, you can see a preview of how it looks. So you can scroll down and you can see a preview of how it looks right there. You can change the layout of the survey by tapping on layout, but I won't be doing that right now. You can also tap on style. And from there, you can change the text color. You could change the background color and so on. Also, if you would like to add your company logo, you can do that. If you would like to add a background image, you can also do that by tapping on background right there. You can preview how it will look on a mobile device by tapping on view mobile. If you have found a theme that you like, I like this one right here. So I'll tap on apply in the bottom right hand corner to save the changes. Then I'm going to go over to the left hand menu option once more, and I'm going to tap on survey options. By tapping on survey options, you can see your draft has been saved. You'll see your display name right there. If you would like to edit the survey description, you can do that also. And then by tapping on the last icon where you see quotas, you can tap right there. And from there, you'll be able to view your quotas once they have been added. Now to publish your survey, all you have to do is tap on publish in the top right hand corner. Then after you have done that, you can see publishing will activate your survey that it can be seen by respondents. And we are going to tap on publish. So let's do that real quick. You can see our survey is now being published. Once it has been published, all you will need to do now, you can copy the link right here and you'll be able to share the link on social media or whichever platform you want. And that's about it. You can tap on OK to close out of it. And if you would like to go back and create more surveys, you can also do that. To view your response, you can tap on results from the top menu option. And you can also tap on reports to view even more analytics. And that's it. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. And remember, if you don't want to create a survey from scratch, you can use one of their many templates that they provide you with as this platform is very beginner friendly and easy to use. Thanks for watching. Hope you found it helpful. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.